close Meryl Streep stars as Washington Post publisher Kay Graham and Tom Hanks as editor Ben Bradley in The Post, director Steven Spielberg's drama about the Pentagon Papers. Fox Liz Hannah just attended her first Golden Globes in support of the first feature she's written, The Post. Photo, Martin Vian, Liz Hanna has a message pinned to the top of her Twitter profile. Never forget, dreams really can come true, it says, with a link to a trailer for the post. Yes, that's the post, as in the movie about Washington Post publisher Catherine Graham directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks. Hannah wrote the film's screenplay, her first feature script, with help from Spotlight writer Josh Singer. And now, the 32-year-old who had only planned to write a spec script to help attain an agent is in Oscar contention and has become the embodiment of what is possible when women are in positions of power in the movie industry. More, review, Steven Spielberg's The Post dazzles with terrific cast, journalistic bent more, Steven Spielberg on timely new film The Post, history is certainly repeating itself for Hannah, who had no Hollywood connections, before landing an internship at a production company, her only family member in the industry, was an uncle who worked as of an assistant in the film crew decades ago, several prominent female figures helped identify her talent and set her on a successful movie-making path. That early job was at Denver and Delilla Productions, where she met women who would become instrumental in her career, Charlize Theron, the company is named for her dogs, and Beth Kono, two producers at the female-centric studio that's made films including Atomic Blonde. They were huge mentors for me, says Hannah, who started interning at Delilla as a 22-year-old Afi student. The producers let me be on any call. I spent the entirety of my mid 20s there, learning, she said. One of the fortunate things about working with Charlize and Beth is that they felt so strongly about female voices. Liz Hannah poses with her the post team, co writer Josh Singer, director Steven Spielberg, actors Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep. Photo, Vivian Kalilia, Getty Images for Palm Springs Inn, and so it was at Delilah, a few years into the job, that Hannah had this crazy idea to write a screenplay. Hesitantly, she asked her producer colleagues to read a personal family drama she penned. They both told me to quit my job to focus on writing, Hannah says. That was five years ago. Hannah read and watched everything she could about the Post publisher, who died in 2001 after being told her whole life she didn't have a voice, as Hannah says. A few years into writing pilots that languished in development and feature spec scripts that didn't sell, a burned-out Hannah made one last-ditch effort before planning to leave the grind of writing to focus on something like teaching. At the encouragement of her husband, Hannah decided it was time to write something about Graham and focus it on her decision to publish the Pentagon Papers. Like Graham, I had been in those rooms where I'm the only woman and men turn their back on me pretend I'm not there, Hannah says. The writer's journey to express her voice and use guts to ignore the fear and stand on our own two feet paralleled her protagonists. Instead, it connected Hannah with another Hollywood power player, former Sony Pictures head Amy Pascal. Pascal came across Hannah's screenplay via a young executive in her office who read it and wanted to buy it. I would have wanted to make this movie, no matter who wrote it, Pascal told USA Today in an email. 
but of course working with and supporting women has always been important to me, and I was thrilled to help get it made. Meryl Streep portrays Catherine Graham in the post. Photo, Nico Tavernize, AP, it was a very, very crazy serendipitous moment, said Hannah. Instead, the day of the election, Amy and I were like, we have to make this movie now. The move paid off. TAG film has an 87% critics rating on Rotten Tomatoes and earned one half out of four from USA Today movie critic Brian Truitt. Gold Derby's award season experts are also predicting the post will get plenty of Oscar love, with 8-1 odds of winning for Best Picture and 11-1 for taking Best Original Screenplay. In the wake of Wonder Woman, making, everyone stop and look around, and, in parallel with number Metu and Time's Up, there's a thirst for women's stories, she says. Next up, Hannah is working on a limited series with Pascal and Post star Bradley Whitford based on the book The Mercury 13, about the first women to go through the space program. She also finished a draft of a feature for MGM, Only Plane in the Sky, about George W. Bush's experience on Air Force One during 9-11. I think that change is happening. I think it's happening, not just with stories and with talent, but that it is happening with women in positions of power, she says. When women produce and control their own material, you see an influx of their stories and female talent. More, Meryl Streep dedicates award to men, Time's Up movement at National Board of Review Dinner Read or Share This Story, https colon slash slash use it.